Hey guys, Seeker4761 here, gonna be playing a new game, uh, well, beta game, called Hexarchy. It is a, according to Steam, a fast-paced turn-based strategy game. Uh, basically, uh, played a little bit already, um, but I would consider it a strange amalgamation of Civilization, if you've ever played those games, and Settlers of Catan with its card-based, uh, well, card-based tactics as well. So we're going to try a little bit. We're going to see if we can uh, play a game. What's what's cool about it, uh, since it is so fast-paced, they claim you can play any game within an hour. Uh, I've played a couple games, and that has been confirmed. So we're going to see what, what we can do here, and let's take you into it. So as you can see, it uh, looks like we're going to play... We're going to play, well, Rome in this case, be the Romans. Basically what happens every turn, um, you get your, you draw a certain amount of cards from your deck. I believe it's five. Yeah, you have, you always draw at least five. Um, then you get random, random things. You could build uh, improvements to your hexes. You can do settlers. You can build units. Uh, well, settlers or scouts or any sort of other military units, depending if you have them. Uh, in this case, this is the first turn. As you can see, we have to build our uh, capital city. I believe it's going to be Rome, but I could be wrong. Let's found it. Uh, let's see here. Where should we build? Uh, let's go right here. Let's build it. So you basically you grab it and then you put it out where you want to build it. Generally, it recommends a couple good places. Uh, I believe that's that's good food right there with three food I or well not tiles whatever you call them we're gonna put it right here and Rome has been founded so basically uh, there are multiple resources here uh, but basically every amount of your what you can actually do is with this hammer here or production if you want to call it if you look at the top of each of these cards uh, it has a resource requirement that you need to actually play said card. So in this case, the scout, it needs one hammer or one production and one gold. Um, so as you can see, I have three available, three hammers available over here. And also well, we have two golds. We can play this card on this turn if we wanted, um, but it is early game. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to start improving our tiles a little bit. Um, so basically, there's a few different types of cards. There's wonder cards, there's unit cards, there's also technology cards. So if you play a technology card, as you can see, these other possible cards are added to the deck. So if I play this, these cards will be added to my deck um, that I could draw from, from each turn. Basically, in this case, they'll go into the discard pile. But basically, you will, let's see, so play a technology, I'm going to want uh, well, I get a free card in my hand this time, so I'm going to want to farm, because it, it does increase everything a little bit. Boom. Unfortunately, I can't play it this particular turn, but, well, next turn I sh hopefully will be able to. So let's see here. So, if you don't want to actually play anything, you can actually exchange your, uh, oops, sorry. You can actually exchange your production, your hammers, for gold. Uh, I believe the most you can ever have at the end of each turn is 15. So it's a good idea. Um, if you're not going to play into the hammers, you should always transfer transfer your gold. If you have more than 15 gold, uh, I believe it transfers to culture. Uh, uh, whatever the excess of 15 will will go to culture. So we're going to transfer this particular hammer into our gold. So now we have two, and there's nothing really I can do. So we're going to end this turn here. Boom. Good see cards went into the discard pile and eventually um well we will let's see here oh so we have these new things i forgot there's also civics cards as well which are ways to improve your overall economy or your military or anything like that so let's see here we have so this is our hand for this hand we have three production um that we could do we could also trade for stuff but we're not there yet let's do a warrior card because we need to be able to defend our city a little bit so we're gonna hit that, boom. So basically, when you create a unit, it takes a turn to make. Uh, and the next you, next turn, you will be able to actually utilize it. But the other thing we're going to do, 
let's let's increase our ability here. So we're going to uh, nothing to raid yet. So let's pick the forage, and we'll go into our hand, but we'll also get it for free. Oh, so here's what I'm. Here's a cool little feature of this game. So every turn, you're you're required to discard your deck. However, you can actually save some cards for your next turn. If you go down here to the right side, you see I could, I could save up to three cards at this point in the game. Eventually, you can save even more, um, but we're not there yet. So I'm going to save, because I don't really care about military just yet. We're going to save the Forage card here. It's a pretty powerful card, and actually we could save a couple more. Uh, let's also do the Mysticism, because I think we should increase our, our abilities here a little bit. Gained our gold. So. What's cool is every t you always have a deck in your discard pile. So every card you don't play will go directly into the discard pile. Uh, once you've played all the cards that are available in your deck, your discard pile gets reshuffled, re and then it comes back into your deck, and you the whole process starts over again. Super simple, super cool, and you play from there. It does not look like we can do a whole terrible lot, but what I am going to do is play this Forage card and essentially double my output for a certain tile. So it's pretty nice. So as you can see, uh, by doing that, it automatically put some cards into my, well, save hand. Um, what's kind of cool is these, every city has a few, a few different, well, important aspects to it. You have to manage its food. You also have, have to manage its happiness. Happiness will determine what percentage of each tile resources are actually gathered each, each turn. Uh, so if your happiness is neutral or negative, um, you will actually have a penalty for each for each gathering for each resource that is gathered. Um, so for food, as you can see, each turn I'm gaining four food. Eventually, once this bar is filled, I will grow. A, I know I'll have another tile that I can actually uh, utilize. Uh, another citizen to actually utilize. Uh, each tile. So I want I want my city to grow as as quickly as possible. So what I'm going to do I'm going to play these food cards, and as you can see, we gained a couple of food points here. So that's all right. So looks like we have our military unit was built. So we're going to go there. Have our warrior. Let's fortify. Should always defend. And we are out of ability. So let's hit end turn. So I have this scout. So. As you can see, the, the map is not particularly well visible. And just like any other sort of civilization city building game, you actually have to reveal, well, not all of them, but decent like Age of Empires or Civilization, you generally have to re have to build it out. So let's come out here. If you hit M, you can actually start expanding the view of your empire a little bit. So let's get him moving out here. He will do that next turn. Uh, I'm going to save this strength because that is a useful card. 25% extra damage. I'm also going to save this warrior. So next turn, I'm going to start building up my army just a little bit. Uh, units do cost civil uh, population in the town you are building it, unless you have certain special buildings, which will come into play later. Um, it also costs gold and a, I wasn't sure if it was production or I think it's just gold to actually maintain them. So as you can see there, that warrior costs a gold out of, uh, to just have. So I'm gonna, it does cost a little bit to maintain an army, which makes sense, just like in real life. So let's go to the next thing. Yes, I do want to end the turn. 
See if we can capture that to capital. Why not? Maybe split that empire in half. Coming for you. So we want the iron, so I'm going to build swordsman. Gained a lot that time. Only have one turn. Really? That's surprising. Looks like they're fortifying. Probably a smart idea. Alright. This is the last turn here. I don't want any of this, really. What's the move? Damn it. I wasn't gonna be able to capture it. It's too strong. Ah, we lost. Russia killed us. That's all right. So, um, as as you can see, I mean, we've been we recorded at least fully for what, about an hour. Like the games only take an hour, at least in the the standard uh, standard game, which is about thirty turns. Um, to see, you can grow a lot. I can see why Russia won. He's six cities, actually. Yes, six cities. So they were definitely they were definitely moving up there. I I took a little bit too long to actually get going. I should have should have built my military. Should have expanded my cities out a little bit to kind of stave off the Aztecs here a little bit. That's all right. Um, super fun game. Like super simple to to do. I mean, it takes an hour. And then there's even shorter versions of the game. Uh, the game is in beta. Uh, I think the game is supposed to come out in the summer 2021. Quarter two, quarter three, right in that area. Hopefully earlier rather than later. And I hope they will keep uh, they'll keep adding to this because this game is pretty damn cool. So um, I think that we're gonna end end it there. Thank you for thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully uh, we're gonna keep this this game review every Wednesday uh, from here on out for at least 2021, depending on how we feel. Um, just random games play play a little bit and we'll go from there like and subscribe if you can um, if not it's all right I also stream on twitch every Tuesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, well Arizona time which is always changing uh, and we'll go from there take care everyone <laughs>